This video isn't about cats. It's about a plant deciding to take over the studio and replace me playing the modular, or rather about the device which empowers the plant to do so. Welcome everyone, and as you might have guessed, today I'd like to show you the Instruo Scion. Most people would describe it mainly as a biofeedback to CV converter that translates changes in the electric field of a living organism and puts out four-relating CV and gate signals. But Scion can also be a full random generator, operate in relation to external gates and audio input, and even follow an external CV and generate overtones to it. The module has an input for the included sensor pads and audio signals and a leaf-shaped conductive electrode touch plate. The raw signal output sends the translated biofeedback signal as a pulse wave, which can be used as audio or control voltage. When you apply more pressure on the leaf, more of your skin will touch the plate, which results in higher frequencies. Here we use the raw signal to control a filter cutoff. Now we'll check out the four output channels and the random generator. The CV outputs send control voltages which are based on the biofeedback or input signal. Depending on the selected operation mode, these signals can have different quantizations or be random. The gate outputs send gates with random length. The LED tree shows the activity of Scion with colored branches, which represent CV value changes and gates. Here we patch up channel 1, just like a normal synth voice. The CV out goes into a VCO, which goes into a VCA. The gate out goes into an envelope, then in a multiple and from there into a VCF cutoff and the VCA CV in. Then we do the same with the other three channels, tuning all four oscillators on the same root note or octaves of it. By pressing all four buttons simultaneously, you can enter the mode menu, where you can choose between three operation modes and switch the additional clocked mode on or off. Select the mode and press the corresponding button again to leave the menu. Mode 1 is quantized mode. The attenuators scale the voltages for each corresponding channel. Turned fully clockwise, quantized semitones will be generated. The 
density parameter defines the range of the CV output. Fully downwards, it's octaves only, and if you move the fader upwards, there will voltages be added each time the fader LED blinks. It's progressing following the circle of fourth until all 12 chromatic voltages are put out with the fader fully upwards. The sensitivity parameter adjusts the responsiveness of the sensor input. Every plant, for example, has a different biofeedback, and with sensitivity you can find the threshold for activity. It's also possible to find spots where an interaction with the plant will cause, change or stop the activity. Now we enter mode 2, which is random mode. With attenuators fully clockwise, the output is also quantized in semitones, but a random voltage offset will be added on. Density ranges from dissonant octaves only to fully random non-quantized voltages. Each channel also has a slew knob, causing the voltages to slide until they reach the final level. The hold buttons freeze the current state of a channel, so you can, for example, hold a note or use the buttons as a mute switch.
a gate is high at a gate input, it will activate ratcheting at the corresponding gate output. That means the random gates will be divided into 4, 8 or 16 subdivisions. Every gate at a gate input will force a voltage change for the corresponding channel, just like a sample and hold. Clocked mode is available for each operation mode. Now we enter the third mode, harmonic overtone mode. With attenuators fully clockwise, the output will be quantized to harmonic overtones. Density ranges from the first harmonic only up to the twelfth overtone. In this mode, the density input doesn't control the density parameter, but acts as a voltage follower. If you patch in a CV signal, Cyan will generate overtones related to this input. It's also possible to use Cyan completely without a biofeedback source, because the sensor input also accepts audio signals. 
If you patch in noise, Scion's internal generator will be excited permanently. I think we got the basics covered now, so that's about it for today. In the next video I'm going to show more ideas on patching, self-modulating and controlling the Scion. So I hope to see you around next time. Take care.